Good afternoon adventurers, you join us here at Gatwick Airport in preparation for our flight out to Orlando in the morning. We're going to go and check in at the Block Hotel, so we'll take you along, we've got a little bit of a surprise in the Block, we'll see you up there. runway suite here at the Block Hotel at Gatwick. We'll take you for a little room tour and then we'll show you the fantastic view. So we've got bathroom with a nice rainfall shower. That'll do the job. Bathrooms by Armani. We've got the bedroom which is quite straightforward. Large bed, room with a view. No storage in there, but we have got a wardrobe storage there. TV, sofa, and a telescope to look out over the fantastic view of Gatwick Airport right the way across. And we've got the runway just over to the left hand side there planes coming in and out. We've also got a microwave and sink and in the fridge we've got some food that we picked up from M&S because we've got the microwave and we wanted to make the most of the room. The block have kindly left us a bottle of fizz because it is our honeymoon trip so that might be uh, getting drunk tonight we'll see. So we'll put some footage in now of the um, the action that we can see basically, any of the planes that we can see taking off um, and we'll catch up with you guys later on. Okay, we've settled into the room now, and as you can see, if I flip you around, the sun has finally started to set, and it's not beaming through the window now, so we can actually see what's going on. So with this room, we do get a couple of um, extra bits. So we get free fast track for security tomorrow morning. We've got tea and coffee making facilities with Starbucks coffee pods, which is nice. Um, and so this room cost us £350 um, and that's for one night including 20 days parking on site so overall I don't think it was too bad um, 
in essence you're paying for the view which for me is probably the best part of this so can't really complain so in this room this little control panel here controls the lights and the curtains so we give that a press and automated curtains so a little bit of a, a fun thing right okay so let's talk tui um, so far our experience with TUI has been really poor and um, we've lost our premium seating because of a plane change which we completely appreciate. We were sat in row 9 and the plane's been changed to a Dreamliner-8 so there's only 7 rows of premium which we can live with. But TUI never told us, it was pure luck that we found out. So, so far since this has all begun we've had 6 different sets of seats on the plane and it's still not confirmed within the app. So. We'll update tomorrow with what we actually get. We've been told that we're going to sit in a normal seat on the plane, which is absolutely fine, and still get all the perks of premium. However, we don't know. We'll see when we turn up tomorrow. So we'll keep you updated in the uh, day one vlog. Obviously, this is the pre-travel day uh, of any changes. Um, and if two, we can redeem any, um, any points back with us at this stage. Bearing in mind, this is our honeymoon trip, and it is also Sam's 30th birthday trip. It's quite special, so we were hoping to sort of see it in style, however, it is what it is. So we'll see if Tui can redeem themselves come tomorrow. So that's it for our pre-travel day vlog. It's only going to be a short one, but just giving you a quick update where we're at. Block Hotel, big tick. Parking, big tick. Tui, still 50-50. The guys today in the North Terminal were great. However, our experience so far hasn't been that good. So we'll see tomorrow how it all pans out. We'll see you in the next adventure.